people said yesterday that firms in Northern Ireland would be advantaged by this arrangement, so I'm interested to hear you well, disagree I, with the Attorney General's opinion. I'm not that. disagreeing with him, but I am disagreeing with you, Ms Brock, and the First Minister in the way that you've sought to draw the specific uh, issues that, that, that have come but about by very difficult circumstances. I, I by don't very see difficult. how you're now putting that onto yes. myself and, and the First Minister. I am, because, because in trying to take forward the issue of Scottish nationalism, what you are doing is trying to draw in Northern Ireland into the debate about uh, Scottish nationalism, and I wholly reject that. Is the Attorney I wholly doing that? reject that. Okay. 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 No, I mean, okay, we'll leave it there, but that's... Mr. Thompson, I just think you were a little bit unfair to Ms. Brock for raising the very legitimate issue of a possible like, um, unfairness to Scotland with the backstop arrangement for Northern Ireland. But we'll maybe leave that aside just now. And I just want you to sort of, just to, as, a, as a final question, just to answer this. Under any scenario, leaving the European Union's Scottish business and trade. It's going to suffer, the Scottish Government say, up to £9 billion. The Treasury say something different. I, I'm not entirely sure what the Treasury figure is, though we're aware that the, the Treasury doesn't factor immigration into its assumptions. Could you perhaps just con conclude this particular session by saying that you understand that there will be an issue and a hit for Scottish business and Scottish trade, and that you, as a Secretary of State for Scotland, as these negotiations are going to be going forward, will be doing everything possible to ensure that this will be mitigated? I will be doing everything that I can to ensure that Scotland gets the best outcome uh, from uh, these negotiations. And the first step, Mr Wishart, in securing that is to vote uh, for the Prime Minister's uh, deal uh, next Tuesday. And I would hope all members uh, of this committee would find themselves able to do that.